G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. This week's clip is proudly brought to you by Snyder Fishing Lines. Now Paul's flying in late this afternoon and we're going to have a wonderful session up on the sand flats fishing for brim and whiting in the beautiful Port Aking River just south of Sydney. Now it's low tide at the moment so I'm just going to shoot across to the sand flats and pump us some bait so when he arrives we're ready to go. Okay guys, Scotty's just picked me up from the airport. I've flown in, he's pumped me some nippers um, and we're out on the flats. Alright, fishing for the brim and whiting up on the flats, we're using yabbies or nippers, which I pumped earlier. The way we put them on is just between the tail, drop the hook in and roll forward. Now a lot of people bring the hook point out before the head. Problem is when you cast, the head comes off. So I always run the hook right up into the head Pull it round onto the hook and that way it stays on. And you can put a little half hitch if you wanted to around the tail but I don't, don't worry about that. Um, they stay on quite well. Okay so the bait's above the water and now we're going to cast. And what I do I stop the sinker before it hits the water and then I just wind back and that tightens it up. So just take your time, I've got a good trevally on. Just taking the nipper on the shallows, on up on the flats. G'day guys, Paul here from Organ the Cook. Welcome back to our channel. And today I'm doing a whole baked trevally with a nice lime and chili mayonnaise and some caramelised fennel. So here we go. Okay. Using fennel today guys, absolutely beautiful. Smells fantastic. Just gonna take this woody bit off, get rid of that. Okay, and some of these outer husks here are quite, how can I say, fibrous and a little bit dehydrated as you can see. But I will still use them, I'll use them um, with my baked fish. But the first thing we need to do is take off the fonds here. Straight off, I'm also gonna use this within the cavity of the fish. And now we're just left with our fennel. Chop straight down, chop again. All into quarters. Now these guys are gonna take a little time, okay? So I'm gonna pop these into the oven quickly. Just grab some olive oil, sea salt, and toss. A Little bit more oil. These are gonna take a little bit longer than my fish. Fish will probably take around about 20 minutes. These could take a little bit longer, so great to get these done a little bit earlier in the piece. Okay, also, I'm gonna throw some limes in here and just caramelize them up as well. Okay, oven on, 190 degrees, and the tray goes in. I'm gonna pop it in for uh, approximately 15 minutes. Off with the side fins. Okay, just trim the tail. Next thing I need to do is put some cuts in here. Same on the other side. Okay, to bake this trevally, uh, what I'm gonna be using is some foil. So, a little bit longer than the tray. And I'm gonna need two sheets. Just line it up with your tray, drop it down in the middle, like so. Okay, cool, that's looking good. Now what I wanna do is put some aromatics in there. So 
So what I'm going to put in there is some lemongrass. Now with the back of the knife, just break the membrane. Gives it a beautiful aroma coming out of it. I've got some uh, limes, some nice fresh thyme, okay, and also some uh, garlic is going to go in there, a little bit of basil, and all my offcuts from my fennel. Olive oil. Next thing we need to do is pop our fish in there. Okay, the lime and the fennel have been in for around about 10 to 15 minutes. The um, reason why I've popped them in is just to get the different flavour into them. I'm basically going to be baking and sort of steaming this fish, um, but also I wanted to get a little bit of caramelisation on these guys to build up a bit of sweetness. So I've got them going a little bit earlier in the, uh, in the oven. Okay, so this then is going to go into the cavity of the fish. A little bit of fennel as well. And then I'm going to pop some on top. Caramelised side down. So pop in that caramelised side down. And some fennel just on top. Now a touch of sea salt over the top. So what we're doing here is just sealing in all the flavour of the fish. Okay. Now that's ready to pop in the oven. So it's time to make our mayonnaise. Um, we've got some basil, some hot red chilli, because I want a little bit of spice. Um, and then we've got our uh, lime juice that we're going to be squeezing in there, and some Japanese mayonnaise. So let's have a look. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some of this nice fennel, which is nice and soft now. Just a little bit of my lime, fennel, and lime. It's all gone nice and sweet. It's beautiful. Have a little piece of lime from the head. And just one more piece of fennel. Now I'm going to be generous here. I'm going to go a couple of fillets. Now I've got to be very del delicate here with my uh, palette knife. So I don't get too many bones. Pop this across, like so. And again, like so. Just get rid of the skin there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is top with my mayonnaise. Be generous. Here we go. And the last thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of oil basil on the plate for garnish. There you go folks, I hope you enjoyed that little dish and we hope to see you next week every Friday here at The Hook and the Cook and don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Enjoy guys. Well, special thanks, guys, to all our partners who joined us, and I hope you guys enjoyed these clips. And don't forget to join us every week here at The Hook and the Cook, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And we'll see you every Friday here at The Hook and the Cook. Cheers, guys.